would a true sociopath even know or admit that he was one? Yeah, so that so this is an interesting question because it implies a true sociopath is a binary thing, right? It's like a true sociopath is like a hundred percent. Like sociopathy is is a personality trait that has a scale. There are some people at one end of the scale and another other people at the other end of the scale. And I don't think that I mean maybe a, a true sociopath exists. But in my overwhelming experience, it's a scale. And even if you think about like neuropsychological testing, it's a scale and you get a score. It's not binary. It's not like yes or no, right? Um, and, and I think that most people, no, most people who are like test highly on, on the sociopathy scale have an inkling. Like he knows, right? Like he knows that he's a chameleon and like he knows he's manipulative and he knows that that's the way that he functions. So I... I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, if he got psychological testing and was thoroughly evaluated and things like that, there's a decent chance that someone would diagnose him with sociopathy. But I, I mean, I think that, that that doesn't mean he's a bad person. So that's the other thing that's happened is that in our society, sociopathy, which is a personality characteristic, which roughly correlates with like, you know, super, we have empaths on one end of the spectrum. And we have sociopaths on the other end of the spectrum. And it's kind of a spectrum of like where, where you're empathic, you know, how empathic you are. Um, and, and oftentimes what happens is we have like moral judgments that we place on a certain personality characteristic. But I'll, I'll say again that surgeons and psychiatrists test highly on the sociopathy scale. And that's because it's like an adaptive part of our job. If I was super empathic and kind of fell apart every time I was with a suicidal person, I have colleagues who are very empathic and their job is like hard. They suffer a lot. Um, so, you know, it's, it's, it's not like a good or a bad thing. And I think if you guys really stop and, and listen to him, he's actually incredibly moral, right? And even so more moral than someone who may be... Um, you know, more moral than someone who may be empathic because without those feelings, he tries to do right by people, right? So it's like, it's not like he's like emotionally drawn. He makes choices out of like a genuine sense of choice. Uh, are you allowed to say what mental illness you think someone may have on stream? Sort of. So I don't diagnose or treat mental illnesses. So I don't make diagnoses. But I, I think it's fair to say, I mean, I think I have sort of an ethical responsibility to say like, hey man, you may want to get that checked out, right? So if someone struggles with anxiety, sometimes I'll say to people like, hey, you should really think about seeing a therapist and see if you've really got that. I think that that's fair. It's not me making a diagnosis. It's just me suggesting that it, 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 it's worth looking into. It's sort of like, you know, if I see someone on the street who's got like a lump that I think could be cancerous, I'm not going to make a diagnosis, but I'm going to say like, hey man, maybe you want to get that shit biopsy. Right, that that I think is a, a duty that comes with knowledge. Um, yeah, so I thought that was really fantastic. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You know, a lot of people have been asking about sociopathy, um, and and so hopefully that was helpful. And I think that's actually a really good example of what I think real sociopathic tendencies sort of look like. And it's comp it's like complicated, and oftentimes it has to do with like the way that this person was raised. And then the way that they were taught about emotions and things like that. So, um, you know, thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, thank you guys um, for supporting us. Um, and, you know, supporting us during Mental Health Awareness Month. I think sociopathy is one of these things that's poorly understood. And if you guys feel like y'all are sociopaths, then like, that doesn't mean that you're bad people and chances are, you know, you are that way for a reason. And it's like, you can still change. Like you don't have to be that way. That's the cool thing about personality quote unquote disorders is that even though the, your brain is wired a certain way, it's not like you can change. Like pe people with BPD can no longer meet criteria or even be cured of BPD. Um, it, I mean, it happens, right? People who are like codependent, which is another personality disorder or people who are narcissistic they can no longer be narcissistic or no longer meet criteria for the disorder, which this is the tricky thing about psychiatry is we like draw a line and we say you either have it or you don't have it. But it's all a spectrum and people can get better, right? Like I used to be a narcissistic asshole too. And I got better.
Can alexithymia be treated? Absolutely. So he's also alexithymic. And the way that you treat alexithymia is exactly what we did, right? He's a guy and he's like, yeah, I don't cry. And then like within 30 seconds, he's like tearing up thinking about his girlfriend. That's how you treat alexithymia. It's like you just teach people how to engage with their emotions and you teach them how to taste things. And it's going to start with big signals, right? If I started to ask him about his sister, he's probably got emotions there that are buried too. But we start with the girlfriend. He learns how to taste, taste those, those emotions amplified responses from girlfriend as he becomes more sensitive or more in tune he can tap into other emotions tap into other emotions tap into other emotions so what about internet trolls i love talking to internet trolls none of them seem to want to come on though so um what's the difference between alexithymia and sociopathy so alexithymia is is a symptom right? It's a particular slice of thing and it's inability to determine your internal emotional state. Sociopathy is people who don't feel empathy. So sociopathy is, is, I mean, there are more complicated definitions or better definitions than what I'm giving. I'm giving a simplistic term, but the way that I think about sociopathy is I think about it as a spectrum on like the empathic scale. And so it's inability to like feel the emotions of other people and alexithymia is inability to determine your own emotions. So it's an issue of direction. Good question though. 